Hello and welcome to Meanwhile back on the Hobby Farm. Hey folks, this is the only time you'll ever catch me wearing a face diaper. In case you couldn't hear that. It's the only time you'll see me wearing a face diaper is when I am using this stuff. I cannot pronounce this for the life of me. Dimontorelusis. I just call it D-Earth. This stuff is a fine powder. Okay. We're having a tick problem. I know, uh, 10 days ago we had snow in the air. We have a severe tick problem. We've never really had too many issues with any of our uh, critters in the past years. The dogs with ticks this year is horrendous. Uh, it has to do with all the rain that we got in March and April. Uh, that didn't help. Uh, but anyway, we're going to use this stuff. This stuff is awesome. It will take care of uh, little mites. It'll take care of uh, uh, the ticks. Here we go. Hey, don't knock my camera over you. Whoa. And there you go. Hey, I should have a bloopers channel here. My cat just came by and uh, knocked it over. All right. Anyway. This stuff is awesome. It will kill the ticks. I just got done doing the backyard where the dogs run. I have a little bit patch left to do out here in the, uh, hey, don't knock that camera up. No, don't knock that camera over. Come here. Come here. Hey. Uh, anyway, um, if it's not the goats, the chickens, it's the cat. But anyway, um, you just don't want to breathe this stuff in. That's why I have the mask. This will do your, your lungs some serious damage. It will do other animals serious damages. Any living creature, you don't want to get this in the lungs. That's that's a no-no. So that's why I got the mask on, and let's take you out here, and uh, we'll do a little patch for you. All right, we're gonna. My leg broke on my tripod here. Uh, it hasn't been a very good. Uh, last three days for me. I've had a lot of little things that have really perturbed me, but hey, I'm still alive. That's all that counts, right? Started the day off this morning by going down there in the coop just, just to put two scoops of feed out for my chickens, and one decided that it was above me in the roosting bar that it was going to let go, and it let go. I think they were uh, celebrating Taco Sunday or something there. But anyway, we're going to set this up over here. We'll do a little area, and this is my old Pixel phone that I'm using. My other one died. Uh, glass all shattered. It's going to cost me 200 bucks. I got to fix them all. But anyway, and here we go. And that is all I needed left to do. Um, this stuff is wonders, though. It uh, cost me $24.50 at Tractor Supply. I used about half the bag for this whole area here. We'll show you. And that included doing inside the barn, all the way over there. It's very, very fine. It, it, a bag will last two applications. Did all this area here, around here, did all this. Didn't have, I couldn't get my spreader underneath, so I hand threw some underneath there. Did all of this and the backyard where the dogs run. I am gonna do the chicken coop, but I gotta wait a couple hours. It's, I don't know what time it is now. I'm gonna guess it's eight, 8.20, 8.30, I don't know. I'm going to wait till about 10 o'clock. I'm going to come out here. The reason being is I can take this mask off, this face diaper. Oh, my gosh. Um, most of the chickens will be up. The ducks obviously don't go up. I see only one chicken 
one chicken down. I'm going to just uh, hand spread it in here. I don't want to create any dust. Uh, it's very harmful for them, to, like I said earlier, for, uh, for them to get that in their, uh, their lungs. Right, girls, what do you think? I thought it was going to help have to lock these guys up. Well, I was doing it because they are very curious, and I figured they'd be chasing me around, but uh, actually, uh, they were afraid of it. It, uh, it moves. It had wheels, and as the blade was turning on it, um, we got that real cheap, too. We got that from a relative, I think, used. Uh, but anyway, so they want nothing to do with it. Right, guys? We got plenty of hay over here for you. So hopefully, I'm going to be good for about six weeks. Uh, I'll use a coffee can full for inside the coop later on, and like I said, I'll still have about half a bag left, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, about six weeks, just do the whole thing over again. And if I can do that every six weeks, you know, I'll probably only need two more bags for the summer, and that will be good. This is the worst time of the year, early spring, but like I said, I've never seen ticks this bad. The cat, the poor cat. DC, where you go, buddy? Hey, DC, talking about you. DC, here's your debut. DC, come here, kitty. This is your debut. All right, I was going to sign you up, have your own fan club, but I don't see you. He was out here a minute ago. Uh, anyway, you know what? I bet you he did. This cat that used to be petrified of me wouldn't go within 50 feet. I bet you he walked all the way around, and he's going to come around in through the, uh, the toilet bowl entrance over there. But anyway, uh, stuff is awesome. Folks, get it. Tractor Supply, twenty-four fifty for this stuff. Wear a mask. Don't do it around animals. Uh, well, you know, don't let them breathe it in. They can eat this stuff. You can actually add it to their water as a dewormer. There's just a lot of things you can do uh, with this stuff. And just wanted to uh, pass this uh, informational YouTube video for you. Don't be spreading chemicals and all that harsh stuff that they sell over the counter. That stuff is garbage. It's dangerous. This is the stuff right here, folks. Dimontorous Earth, I call it. De-Earth, it's uh, food gradable. You can eat it. Take care, folks. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Hey, we have a request. I promised it in my last video that my next one, which is this one, would have been the making of uh, our homemade dog food, the rice, uh, with the vegetables and broth and chicken pieces. Uh, hopefully the next one. Take care, folks. Bye.